Are you a good brother if you fuck your sister? I love my brother. These are the kind of beautiful and philosophical questions we're gonna be answering today so we can create the best tier list for the worst brothers in Game of Thrones. Let's start with Bran. Honestly, Bran is easily a good brother, I think. But for Three-Eyed Crow, I mean, even after he's a really good brother, doesn't do anything bad to any of his siblings. He saved his brother Rickon. He got them both out of there. Him, Hodor, o Osha, Asha, you know. He helped his brother get out of Winterfell when they needed to. He tried to go find Jon Snow. I became the Three-Eyed Raven. Yeah, I mean, he was always, was not, he didn't do too many, like, super brotherly things, since he was the younger brother, so it was more his older brothers who were caring for him. Uh, even arguably, when he was trying, when he went and saw and found Jon Snow, he decided not to fuck with him, because he was like, nah, I got bigger and better things to do. I'm gonna give him an F. Someone who probably doesn't get an F is the Mountain, brother of the Hound. Now that guy, ooh. Outside of just being a terrible person, he's a terrible, terrible brother. I mean, he burned Sandor's face as a kid for fucking with his toy. That was it. Sandor was just playing with his brother's toy and Gregor held his head and pushed it into the fire and burned the fuck out of him. And then on top of that, in the very first season, he, he starts fighting with, with Sandor because he's trying to kill Loris. What more could he do? He wants to kill his brother. He would kill his brother. He never treats him nice. I, I'm going to put him in S. In terms of brother, brotherliness, brother, brother, brotherhood, bro, bro, broness, he is awful. <sighs> Let's not do Jamie right now. I'm not ready for Jamie right now. Let's do Joffrey. Joffrey is bad. So the one thing I do remember is that Tom and I believe complained that he that Joffrey kind of tortured him, tormented. That's a better word. Joffrey tormented him as a yeah abused Tom and Marcella. Yeah, apparently bullied and tormented Tom and Marcella their entire lives, and even considering Tom and weak for crying like any normal person. Uh, yeah, Joffrey definitely tormented his siblings, probably in many ways that we don't even know. If you're messing with your brother's cat and like bullying him, like if you're actually bullying your siblings, that's really bad. Not quite as bad as S because you're not killing them, but you're really bad. You are a really bad brother. A is pretty good for him. Let's do Jojen. Jojen was the opposite. Honestly, I don't think he's quite F tier. He was more concerned with getting Bran to the Three-Eyed Raven than he was Mira. That's how I felt at least. Like, he, I mean, he didn't even care about himself really. Like, he was like, oh, we gotta, we gotta do this. He, like, he was getting really sick and he died. I think he was really good to Mira. Like, he obviously very much cared about her and treated her really well. Tried to defend her as much as he could. He was very weak and small and stuff. In fact, she defended him mostly. <laughs> but I do think he prioritized Bran over her. Who knows, who's to say? He was great, but not in terms of being a brother, he didn't put his siblings over like everything else, you know? And in, in order to do that, that's basically what you'd have to do. <sighs> Fuck, should we do Jamie now? Let's do one more, then we'll do Jamie. All right, Jon Snow. I think Jon's just straight up F. You could consider his, his biological-ish family. Yeah, yeah, I guess his biological family. <laughs> Rob, Sansa, Arya, Bran, Rickon. I mean, he treated them all really well. I can't think of a time where he's not trying to look out for them and stuff. And then if you look at his his brothers of the Night's Watch, he is always putting the Night's Watch over everything. Obviously, John becoming the Lord Commander, defending the wall to the death, killing Corrin Halfhand in order to infiltrate the Wildlings. He killed his own brother, but he did it literally to protect all of his brothers. That's super fucking noble. He literally did everything for his Night's Watch family and his actual family. The interesting part was when he had to, to choose between going and helping his biological family rob or staying with his new brothers in the Night's Watch. So he was great in, in all senses. Let's do the one that we all have come here for. Jamie Lannister. Let's just cut to the chase. Are you a good brother if you fuck your sister? Oh God. Why am I doing this? Okay. Uh, at least let's... Uh, there's no... Okay. Outside of that, Jamie has his issues, but he's a good brother to Tyrion. Yeah. Let, let's talk about Tyrion first. That's way easier. Jamie is a fantastic brother to Tyrion. He's like always on Tyrion's side. He's ready to fight for him. He's ready to help him. When Cersei's messing with Tyrion and treating him bad, he's always there defending him. Like he kind of wants to bring them together. He lets Tyrion escape before he's put to death. That is F tier in my opinion of worst brotherhood. I will say though, one bad thing that does count against him is 
the Taisha thing. Tyrion is in the tent talking about how he met the lady and then he really loved her and it turned out she was a whore. So Jamie set that up, but it was because of Tywin is the hard part. But I would say the best brother still wouldn't do that. The ultimate brother would still be like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to tell my brother. We understand that why Jamie did that. Completely understandable. But in terms of strictly brotherliness, not good, bro. Not good. I would put uh, Jamie in D tier because of that. But he's not just a brother to Tyrion. He's also a brother to Cersei. Okay, outside of fucking her, he's a very good brother to her. He always puts her up above everything else. He always wants her to be happy. He always wants them to be happy together. He always wants her to be safe. Okay, well, actually, hold on. I'm not gonna belittle this. He definitely rapes her. <laughs> Maybe more than once? Really bad. Really, really awful. Yeah, outside of that, you're banging your sister, dude. Is that good or bad? I don't know. Can someone tell me the answer to that? Technically, the morality of it isn't really relevant to the list. Oh, that's so awful, but so true. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, but actually, it kind of is bad to do that to your sister, even if it is. It's like a, it's like a drug, right? Like doing drugs feels good, but it's bad. So I would still say that that's bad. You shouldn't do hard drugs. Fuck. I okay. I can see D. I can see D because Taisha confession rape, and I don't really think that banging your sister is good. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it is like you think it's good, I'm feeling C. This is where you come to uh, discuss the important things in life, guys. Can't wait to do the worst sisters tier list. Go through this whole conversation again. Anyway, let's move on, why don't we, from that horrid, horrid thing we just had to discuss. It was very fun, though, to be honest. Loris! Loris Tyrell. He doesn't have too many, like... Well, no, no, no. He has a, he has some interactions with, with Marjorie. It seems like they're very close. I don't recall anything where they're, like, arguing. I don't think he ever did anything wrong. I remember Marjorie going to visit him in prison when he got captured by the High Sparrow and stuff. And she was super nice to him, super, super caring. But I'll put Loris in, in F tier. I think that he's, he's really good. All right, let's do Ned. This will be pretty quick because there's not too much mentioned about Ned's brothers. So the only thing I could say about Ned is that he seemed like a really good brother. I mean, Ned's, Ned's just a good person. The rebellion, part of the reason why the rebellion started was because his brother went south and then they both got burned alive. I feel like it's kind of noble. This sounds weird, but he married Catelyn because Catelyn was betrothed to his brother. In my mind, I don't know if this is necessarily true. Tell me if you agree. Um, but I think it was more like, oh, I'll take care of your wife kind of thing. My Like, you're dead. I'm going to take care of your wife. Ned's probably more of an honorable mention brother because he's, there's not enough really to go off of. We presume that Ned's a fantastic brother though. Ned's always a good fucking person. P part of the reason why he's in the rebellion is to avenge his brother. That's super cool. That's super good. He raises Jon Snow his own. Oh, actually, that's a good point. Fuck. That's okay. That we can definitely mention that. Very fucking good point. He does raise Jon Snow as his bastard for Lyanna. I fucking forgot. They have a sister, Lyanna. He literally saved Jon's life as the dying. Uh, wish of his sister. Also on occasions that he and Benjamin got along well. Oh yeah, fuck, wait, how many brothers does Ned have? He's a great brother, for sure. Viserys, Viserys Targaryen. He's obviously a bad brother. Where does he fall from S, A to B? He legit sold his sister off, molested Danny, and also said that he would literally let the entire Dothraki horde rape her, and he wouldn't give a shit because he is terrible. But he also basically sold her into slavery. In my opinion, that's instant A at best. Is he as bad as Gregor? Gregor literally tries to kill his own brother. And like, the more I think about it, like he really treated Danny like, like an object. I feel like that's a different form of S. Gregor wanted to kill his brother, but he still saw his brother as a person. Viserys, I don't think he saw his sister even as a person. He just saw her as like an object to help him get the throne. I feel like that's equally bad as wanting to kill her. And he didn't care if she died. He cared nothing about her. He pulled his sword on her, but on her stomach, like where, when she was pregnant. That's pretty bad. I, I feel like that's S tier. I feel like he's equivalent to, to Gregor. He, he really did not give a shit about her. Let's do Renly. Renly Baratheon. Renly's a good person, but he kind of goes against his brother Stannis when Stannis obviously rightfully deserves the throne. <laughs> Renly's only defense is that I should be because I, I'd be good at it. Yeah, he tried to steal his own throne from Stannis. That's pretty not brotherly. I don't think Renly super likes Robert though, still. Robert, he still thinks Robert's kind of a fat drunk. Ooh, that's true. I mean, that was, I won't, I won't, I won't count that against him because Robert was saying some, and, and Renly was like, bro, like, we got people dying. Like, why are you talking about making the eight? <laughs> He's kind of a bad brother to Stannis, though. I'm not gonna lie. He's kind of a bad brother to Stannis. Maybe Renly is a bad brother. 
He ended up killing Stannis? I think you're right. I actually think he's B or C. I don't think he's even D. I think he's B or C. Like, he's a decent brother to Robert, but he's a bad brother to Stannis. I actually thought he was gonna be good, but he's not. He's a great character, probably a good person, not a great brother. Yeah, B-Work, since he goes to war with Stannis with no claim. Yeah, like, that's really, really bad, actually. You're prepared to Ken slay, and also you're not usurping the throne, but, like, you're taking away the claim. Like, that's really bad. If he ever, if he went as far as to actually kill him, I think I would put him in A, to be honest. You know, I actually think it's arguable that he is A, because they would have fought, and like, like, like we said, Renly was ready to kill Stannis. Nah, yeah, let's let... Okay, I'll put it this way. Even if he killed Stannis, it wasn't for very, like, negative reasons. Like, they were just, like, at odds. That that still to me is better than Joffrey. <laughs> maybe you're right. Maybe maybe Joffrey is like A plus. Anyway, I think B's a great place for Renly. Alright, should we do this one quick? Where do y'all think uh Ramsey should go as a brother? The only brother that's ever mentioned in the show is the one that he completely murders <laughs> before he's even one years old, I think. He's an S boy. <laughs> Ramsey immediately put his other brother to dogs. <laughs> yeah, that's literally all there is to say about him. I mean, <laughs> after that, yeah. <laughs> He's a bad son, he's a bad brother, he's a bad spouse, he's just bad. He's just such an evil character. I think he's actually worse than Gregor. <laughs> I think Gregor is better than- I think Ramsey actually might be the worst brother. Like, the worst. Cause at least Gregor didn't kill his brother, he shoved his head into fire. But he didn't feed him to dogs as a baby. They're awful. That's all there is to say about Ramsey. he sucks. Rickon! Rickon doesn't have much screen time. <laughs> I, like, I even feel kind of bad putting him in F. It's This is more of his own category. I think Rickon more belongs in, like, a who-the-fuck-knows category. There's actually nothing. Brent, Rickon's, like, nothing. Let's make a Rickon category. <laughs> that category is reserved for people who are just... I don't know. Not enough info. Probably good, but who-the-fuck-knows. That's Rickon. Another Stark, why don't we? The last Stark we have. Rob. Rob is... Pretty much a great brother. He's He really likes John. They get along really well. He takes care of Bran. He goes south to try to save Arya and Sansa. Rob's pretty good, uh, I think. He even treated Theon like a brother. Ooh, I love that. Actually, yeah, he, he treated Theon really well as, as well. Uh, and even John. Like, John's a bastard. He treated John really well. Gold star for Rob. Are all the Starks here? All the Starks, man. They're good people. All right, let's do another Baratheon. Robert. I don't think is a great brother. He's okay. He's on okay terms with Renly. He's de on decent terms with Renly. He doesn't treat Stannis well, obviously, because they get in a war. You're the brother I choose, Robert. De e That's a good point. That's a good point. He was like, he has two other brothers, and and he's like, Ned, I want you to be my brother. You were the brother I chose. Oh. I don't think he likes his brothers that much in general. I'm kind of leaning more towards B, but actually, I think Renly's a worse brother than Robert. Robert didn't care much for his actual brothers, at least not compared to Eddard. Uh, loved Eddard though. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that makes you a great friend. Unfortunately, we're not doing the worst friends tier list. <laughs> and do you think he... I feel like Renly's a little bit worse, though. Renly literally goes to war with his own brother. But, you know, he, his brothers do go to war with him. Maybe C? You think it's C? Robert did at least uh, slot both his brothers. Yeah, he did give him roles on the small council. Mm, that's tough. I feel like he's, like, right in the middle. See, Let's go B for Baratheon, huh? I can see an argument being made that he's a decent brother, but he doesn't really like his brothers. I feel like that kind of auto makes you not a great brother. He treats Renly pretty decently. I don't think he likes Renly that much, though. Let's do let's do Tyrion. Tyrion is a good brother. Tyrion is a good a great brother, even. Where I'm kind of questioning is how he how his relationship with Cersei. The honestly, the relationship with Cersei is more on her side because she treats him super bad. Like you can't have you can't be a good brother you can't be have a good relationship with someone who wants to have a bad relationship with you you know i would say he tries really hard to be a good brother to cersei like he helps her children try to say stay stay safe <laughs> he's as good as he really is allowed to be yeah i think like the that's a good way to put it that's actually a really great way to put it his bar is, is he caps out here because cersei treats him so badly you know he really likes tommen and marcella he doesn't like joffrey but he tries to keep joffrey in line a little bit i think that's partially for respect for cersei i'm trying to think of anything that he does bad to her i think he's pretty much an f tier he does the best he fucking can he tries to be a really good brother and he's a great brother to jamie and he tries to be the best possible to cersei that's all you can really ask for and it's actually shocking that he he is treating Cersei with any type of good regard, to be honest. She literally blames him for his mother's death. That's so awful. F here, pretty easy, I think, for me. 
Sam. Sam's a little bit of an honorable mention as a brother because we don't really see him interact with Dickon or is it Rickon? Is it Blog and Rick? What's, what's Sam's brother's name? Oh wait, who the fuck? Oh, that's right, he has a sister. I forgot. I honestly feel like I need to put him in Rick and cat category because the only interaction we really get, do we even get him interacting with Dickon? And then his interactions with his sister seem good. I don't think there's enough really to say. I assume he's decent is all I can really say because he's Sam. It's future Jabari here. If you notice anything different, that would be why. Anyway, I totally forgot to mention a couple things about Sam that I mentioned about John, and that is, of course, that Sam is a brother of the Night's Watch. So I totally should have put him in the F tier instead of the Rickon tier. Uh, he's very much a fantastic brother of the Night's Watch. Uh, there's so many different scenes where he's helping John, standing by his side, helping his brothers. A couple really good ones is one when he stands by John's side and he wants him to become Lord Commander. Like, he's the first one to speak up about John to put him forth as Lord Commander. John didn't even want to do that. And the second scene that I'm thinking of is when Pip gets shot by Egret's arrow through the neck and he's fucking coughing up blood and bleeding on the, in his lap. Sam is like comforting him and is like, oh, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. You know, just trying to make sure that his last moments aren't full of pure terror. That was a really beautiful scene, honestly. It was sad and scary, but it was like, it showed how good of a brother he was. So I should have put him in F tier instead of Rinking tier. But otherwise, anyway, back to Pastor Bari. Uh, let's do the Hound! Ooh, this is rough. The Hound is not a good brother. But it sucks because it's because his other brother started it! He started it! He started it! I mean, it doesn't really matter, I think. He tries to kill his brother, but even worse. He's not allowed to be a good brother at all. Like, literally, his brother tries to kill him and just torture him and stuff like that. Like, what can you do? You're gonna fight back! Uh, he doesn't really have a proper sibling to be a brother to. <laughs> nah! I'm... Nah, Gregor definitely counts. Gregor literally causes the Hound to be a bad brother. He's not as bad as, as his older brother, though. I'm thinking he's an A or B tier. I like when you say that he's trying to put his brother out of out of his misery. He wasn't really that... Honestly, it's more self-defense than anything. Do I need to make a Sandor category? It's almost the same as Tyrion to Cersei. Well, Cersei does try to kill Tyrion, just not quite as hard. I want to say he's a bad brother still, though. But I could, he, he doesn't have a choice but to be a bad brother, I think. Yeah, maybe maybe we, I'm a, maybe, we'll, maybe we can make a new category for him. Because, yeah, you're right. He, he doesn't really have an option but to be bad to his brother. My bro is the devil. Pink for the devil. All right, we put him in this new cat. That was a tough one. That was probably one of the hardest ones. Except for Jamie. Jamie was still really hard. No pun intended. Theon as a brother. Oh god, this is another one where he tried to bang his sister. Is it fair that he didn't know it was his sister? Does that remove the transgression if you didn't know it was his sister? <laughs> I mean, this is almost a Rickon category because he, he doesn't really have an opportunity to be a good brother because he's literally stolen away. But when he comes back, I think he's actually a pretty decent brother. He's kind of stupid though. After Reek, he's actually a really good brother. Um, he supports her in all kinds of ways. Before Reek, how is Theon? As a brother i think he's fine and even it's also implied that younger they were they were relatively close i think i think actually post reek is actually a pretty good character because i mean he's just a broken he's not even like human almost like he's reek <laughs> oh actually how about this even to the starks his his fake brothers he's pretty good at them he's great with rob yeah he's pretty good with uh, with bran they're training and stuff they're talking and stuff so yeah actually i think he actually is a pretty good brother he he has some honor he learned some stuff from the starks bringing in the starks is awkward because he betrays rob oh shit oh yikes i actually forgot about that yeah like he said that's awkward Ooh, that's a good point that means that we only have to consider just yara or just the starks because if we consider all of them, wait, even if we just consider the Starks, he's actually not good to them. Betraying them is actually incredibly bad. Fuck, that's actually really bad. That brings you down really bad, I think. Because he like literally took their home from them and fucked them over. You think he would have killed Bran and Rickon? Maybe he would have just like kept them in a cell, but also he might have killed them because he wanted to seem strong. I kind of think he would have killed them. Damn. He's an F tier brother to Yara. I think he's a B tier at best to the Starks because he betrays them, like you said. He's an F tier to begin with, but then he betrays them. I'm gonna say that th that the Starks are his siblings and Yara is his sibling. I guess he has other brothers too, but <laughs> in any case, since I'm not gonna split it in Theon 1 and Theon 2. It might be fair to actually split him into, into pre-Reek and post-Reek. Okay, I'll say pre-Reek is B because he was still good to them, but post-Reek is F, to be honest. Post-Reek F, pre-Reek B. Oh my God, I missed Stannis. Oh shit. 
pre reek Theon is a B to me. post reek Theon is a great brother. Bad brother, pre reek Good brother, post reek He was good up until the Winterfell shit. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go ahead and do Tommen, and then we'll do Stannis. Tommen, yeah, so Tommen, he, he legit can't be a good brother to, to Joffrey. Just like we discussed, that's not really fair. Joffrey is just a monster. But Marcella, as far as I know, they have a pretty good relationship. I mean, he's in one of these like he's he's pro he's almost certainly a good brother to Marcella It's just not that relationship is just not shown that much either one of these is good <laughs> Like he's in both. He's literally in both He's a Rickon and his brother is the devil. <laughs> Wait, is Tommen the most fucked over sibling? Joffrey gave Tommen one great gift by dying <laughs> and it was <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. His death was the greatest gift of all. What a great brother. Stannis, I think, is a bad brother. He's more on a similar boat to Tyrion. Stannis definitely tries to be a good brother to Robert. I'm gonna try to play defense attorney for Stannis. All right, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Is he, you think he's a good brother? I don't think he's a good brother, though. He's definitely not good to Renly, though. I know why Stannis does it. Obviously, Stannis has the, the claim. He should do it, in fact. But that makes you a bad brother. He's prioritizing the crown over his brother. To Robert, I think he... I think he tries to be good, but I think Robert kind of fucks him over. Sans does try to talk Renly into not making him kill him. You actually got a point. Okay. Defense attorney. All right. Defense attorney Grievous. Okay. He offers him his own council seat back plus to make him his official heir. He does do that. You know what? He's coming down a little bit for me. Stannis doesn't want to kill Renly, but he has to. Renly doesn't have to kill Stannis. Renly could just be like, Renly is more like the one causing the problems. Like he's the instigator. Renly, what the hell? <laughs> it's actually low-key just greedy. I think that's pretty much what Renly was. Although Renly had a little bit of more positive intentions. He thought he'd be a really good king. And I think that's true. But still, that's not that great. He has zero legal reason to negotiate here. Uh, that's true. And he usually is pretty rigid about his laws. Very good point. He's just doing that to be nice. Uh, I think he even says, because you're my brother. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. Uh, that he's got until dawn to change his mind and strike his banners. He doesn't, and thus, Shadow Baby. <laughs> You've changed my mind. I'll I'll let him escape B tier. I don't know if he can escape C. You're still prioritizing glory or the throne or whatever over your brother. I don't think Stannis hates Robert, but he still tries to kill his brother. Look, man, Stannis gets fucked over, huh? Dang, I'm a Stannis stand now. I think he's forced to engage in battle with his brother because of his brother. It is a little bit his fault because he's not just like, okay, bro, like I'm gonna let you have it because I'm not I'm not gonna fight my brother. He could do that, and I think if he did that, he would he would be F tier or D tier, maybe D tier. But he doesn't, so I think that brings him down a little bit. I, th I think B might be right. I can see C for him. He's not A, he's not S for sure. When you kill your brother, you're a bad brother. I think that's pretty much my stance on it. I'm putting all the Baratheons in B tier for Baratheon. B, 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 Baratheon. Two of the Baratheon brothers are dads though, and if you're wondering if they're just as bad at being dads as they are at being brothers, then watch this video right here where I create a worst dads tier list.